Mr. B. <laughs> there was one little octopus swimming in the sea, and this little octopus swam right up to me. He said, I am an octopus, happy and free. You should jump into the water and come swimming with me. So I jumped in the water, happy and free. And I swam with the octopus out into the sea. We swam with a fish and a clam and an otter and a seal, a dolphin and a turtle and a shrimp and an eel, a penguin and a walrus and a crab and a squid. Even swam with a whale, that's what we did. We swam all day until it got dark, but we never did swim with a shark. The very next day I went back to the sea And the same little octopus swam right up to me He said, I am an octopus, happy and free You should jump into the water and come swimming with me So I jumped in the water, happy and free and I swam with the octopus out into the sea. We swam with a fish and a clam and an otter and a seal, a dolphin and a turtle and a shrimp and an eel, a penguin and a walrus and a crab and a squid. Even swam with a whale, that's what we did. We swam all day until it got dark, but we never did swim. With a shark, a fish, and a clam, and an otter, and a seal, a dolphin, and a turtle, and a shrimp, and an eel, a penguin, and a walrus, and a crab, and a squid, even swam with a whale, that's what we did. We swam all day, until it got dark, but we never did swim. With a shark, we never did swim. With a shark. The word of the day. W-A-S Was Yesterday Was A beautiful day My time Joe, let's do the bird First, make your arms into an X Like that then wave your hands. There you go. Wave your hands. Make it look like a bird. Then fly away. Say bye to the bird. Shaw. Now there's another way to do it. Hold your thumbs up and bring them together like that. Then put your hands on both sides and wave your hands like a bird. Shaw. Then wave them and fly the bird around. Chaw. Then fly away, bird. Wave bye to the bird. Chaw. This is the alphabet song. It's not very long. Let's do S. S, 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 S. Snake. S, 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 S. Sloth. S.
I'm thinking of an animal. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. They sound like this. You know that one. That's an elephant. Well, most of us know that elephants can grab things and pick them up with their long trunks. But here are a few fun facts that you probably don't know. Elephants are the largest land animals in the whole world. There are two kinds of elephants, Asian elephants and African elephants. You can tell the difference between them because Asian elephants are a little smaller than African elephants. And Asian elephants have smaller ears. See the difference, Mr. B? Asian elephant, African elephant. Another difference between these two elephants is their shape of the head. African elephants have one dome and Asian elephants have two domes. You want to hear something wild, Mr. B? I sure do. The largest elephant ever recorded weighed 24,000 pounds. Whoa. That's like eight pickup trucks, Mr. B. That's like 30 horses. That's like 100 refrigerators, like 552,000 mice. Wow, Bosco. Thanks for sharing. That's what I do, Mr. B. Hello friends! Well today we are here in Coronado, California where we're on this ferry, that's a boat, we're gonna cross the entire San Diego Bay all the way to the other side. Can you believe that this big heavy boat actually floats on the water? Well how does that work? <laughs> can you feel it? Feel the waves. You can feel it floating on the water. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we're floating. We are floating. Wow, and we're going all the way over there. Hey friends, we're here on the back of the boat. Oh, this is pretty cool. It is awesome. I just realized what rhymes with boat. What rhymes with boat? Float. We're floating. <laughs> Boat and float, they do rhyme, that's true. And hey, look, in the back there, you can see the Coronado Bay Bridge. How awesome is that? Are we there yet? I think we're here. I think we're gonna dock the boat right there. What does it mean to dock the boat, Mr. B? Well, to dock a boat, well, that means we're gonna park the boat and they're gonna take some ropes and tie it onto the dock so the boat doesn't move. And so everybody can get out of the boat and go onto the land. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the ride. Of course, hop on in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all let's right, do we it. Set? We're set. Oh, this is so fun, Mr. B. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Take care, All guys. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Look at that, Mr. B, a house <laughs> of water. Wow, they built it up on the stilts there. Look at that. Hi, friends. Here's the reason why we're here today. The kite store. Well, we're here in San Diego at Seaport Village at Kite Flight. We're going to get a kite and we're going to go fly it. Well, have come on, fun. let's have some fun. I want to fly, fly, fly a kite 
Oh my, what a sight. It catches the wind, it catches flight. My kite, it flies with all its might. It flies and flies and flies all right. My kite, my kite is quite a delight. Come with me, let's fly a kite. Let's catch What are you have in your hand, Mr. B? I have a kite. Let's fly <gasps> our kite beautiful. with all our might. We can fly and fly and fly all right. Flying a kite is such delight. Come with me, let's fly a kite. Let's fly a kite. Keep the string tight. Wear sunglasses if it's too bright. Let's fly. Let's fly. Let's fly a kite. Here at Mr. B's Seriously Fun Club, we take our fun and our reading seriously. Well, that's why I wrote Book Nook Brook. Well, this colorful story about the great importance of reading will bring life into your home or classroom. Book Nook Brook will rhyme its way into your heart and quickly become one of your child's favorites. Brilliantly illustrated, this book about reading books will capture the imagination and inspire your children to be like Brooke and read more books. Well, visit my website at 123mrb.com and get your copy now. Yeah, get your copy now. I like reading. <laughs>